The group at Indiana State University took time out of their week to watch the State of the Union tonight. Not only did they watch, they live tweeted the entire thing. News since Sarah Lehman was there to see all the action. She joins us now with what's new for you tonight on Night Watch. Patrice Rondrell, you wouldn't normally think that college students would be watching the State of the Union address by President Donald Trump tonight, but here on Indiana State University's campus, right inside Cunningham Memorial Library, a group of students was doing just that. Indiana State University's library is normally used to study, work on projects, or hang out until your next class. Tuesday night, one room was used for something a little different. We're going to be watching uh, the president give his annual State of the Union address um, and talking about it, tweeting about it, um, sharing it with our friends. Put on by ISU's American Democracy Project, they called the event the State of the Union Tweet Up. Around 50 students were at the event, all anticipating what the outcome was going to be. I watched the government shutdown pretty closely. Um, I know some of the big ticket items that are here on the table that they discuss on a regular basis, so I've, I've actually, I'd say I've been looking forward to it. After the State of the Union was delayed because of the shutdown, some students are wondering if after Tuesday night anything will change. And it's just a, it's, a, it's an odd time in American politics. If he doesn't deliver tonight, I don't know if the government shuts down next week. I don't know if it stays open. The one thing that was on a lot of the students' minds. We're definitely living in a time that's going to be written in the history books. Children are going to be taught about this in elementary schools several years from now. They're going to make documentaries about this time. And, and the world is going to look at this, this period in American politics and history as maybe an outlier or maybe the new norm. And the student coordinator of tonight's tweet up says the event was to get more college students and people of that age to be more involved in policy, politics and policy making. Reporting live in Terre Haute, Sarah Lehman, News 10. Back to you.